First and foremost, I'm madly in love with you. 1,778 days ago, I wrote you an email at 5.40 a.m. <laughs> I thought it would be a good time to read it uh, since we quote it often uh, when we tell people our love stories. With emphasis. Hey, depending on your lunch plans today, I'm going to City Market. <laughs> Anytime between 11 a.m. 1 p.m. to grab an Indie 11 ticket if you want to come. It took me 15 minutes to write those four sentences. I was so nervous asking you out because you were this fun, outgoing, cute guy in analytics who always held a coffee cup. <laughs> Kelsey Elizabeth Binion. I couldn't be more excited to be here, standing with you on our special day. I feel the same butterflies and excitement I did on our first date. You make every day, every experience, something special for the two of us. You quickly became my best friend and my biggest cheerleader. You see things in me that I don't. I glow a bit brighter every day because of you and your love. Oh my god, you look great. You look wonderful, sweetie. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. I promise to always work to be a better version of myself. I promise to always hold you in the highest regard and respect you. I promise to always be there for you, to support you and comfort you through the easy times and the difficult times. You're the man I've dreamed of sharing a life and family with. I can't wait to see what life we build together. It is the greatest honor to be your wife and I promise to love you with all my being each and every day. <laughs> Until my last breath. And after that, my love will continue. As you go forward, remember that happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. It has to be created. It's standing and facing the world together and forming a circle of love that gathers across the whole family. It's relatively simple to stand here and say the words, but it's far more important to live them every day. I promise to always keep ice on hand, but not the carbonated kind. And I promise to love you above everything else. Just like getting lost in Italy at 10 o'clock, we may not always know the road ahead of us, but as long as I have you by my side, I'm confident we'll always find the right path. I love you so much. Thank you for making me the happiest man I can be. I am now sweating. <laughs> I remember Kelsey being super nervous and wanting me to go in case it got awkward and she had an escape plan. Mm -hmm. I think Scott wanted to make a great impression and seem like the cool guy. So he went and bought me a drink even though he knew I was a mere child at 19 years old. <laughs> I invite myself absolutely every chance I get to have Scott make me dinner. During my time at home and throughout the pandemic, Kelsey, Scott, and I have watched countless shows and eaten so many meals together. Thank you so much for the dinner, thank you for the company, and thank you for being a part of Kelsey's life and now our family. But next time, don't you ever make that spicy Italian pasta that you know I hate because you make everything so spicy. <laughs>
I would like to share how proud I am to be giving you away today and how beautiful you looked in that slightly overpriced dress. Wow. You look amazing. Like, so, it's perfect. Cry. I don't know, cry. So today seems to be appropriate time for your mother and I to say how much we love you and how proud we are of the person you are. I promise to always let you know how cold I am in the house and do nothing about it. <laughs> I vow to expand your musical taste. Uh, there are more bands than OAR and Ed Sheeran. I vow to be by your side, loving you, challenging you, celebrating you, and growing old with you. Charles and I cannot be happier for the both of you. We're excited to have been part of this journey with you and it's just getting started. There's no better friend than a sister and there's no sister better than you. About wasting our time.